All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this lightweight championship fight between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Dustin Poirier. So you got Ron Gintry, Louisiana Lightning. You got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title as a key to the city of Lafayette. And he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier. He loves that city and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough, he's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight and in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go do anything to accomplish his goal. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the fame canvas here tonight. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing the champion, Fighting. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Dubrox. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground 
avoid it at all costs. Uppercut lands for him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice punch there by Oliveira. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Oh, nice. Good right hand. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Poirier. Another punch to the head. Oliveira going for the leg kick. He misses. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Lands to the body there. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Good stick. probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, folks, here we go. Round two. Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Dustin Poirier. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was... You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got to squeeze him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Charles Oliveira! All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. 
that, he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still. Many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight. It's still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie Bucket. You'll pay me something. Fed everybody that don't save me nothing. Still back to the bones from fevers.